everybody, it's Joe Wu. So guess what? This is episode two, and I'm continuing my documentation of the entrepreneur journey. This is raw and uncut. And my purpose, again, if you've seen episode one, is to show everybody what the journey of entrepreneurship looks like. To show not just the glamour, but all the struggles, all the pain, all the crap you go through, what's working well, what's not. And really, my hope is to inspire you and to show people that entrepreneurship is a big friggin' struggle. It really is. And I think so many people continue to see the glamour. You know, they're looking for the next Facebook, the next Snapchat, whatever it is, you know, the next Tinder even, um, and trying to make a quick fast buck. And that's not what it's about. And that's what I'm really learning here. So this is episode two. So we'll talk a little bit about what's going on the last two weeks since I did the first video. And my goal is to try to do this as often as possible, to try to do one, at least once a week, once every two weeks, and kind of update you guys and see where things are. And I think it's a lot of fun. So you'll see a lot of great successes, a lot of great wins, a lot of great failures. So I'm ready to continue to fall flat on my face. So where are we in the progress of Joe Wu? So here's where we are. So as I said last time, the audio program's all recorded, ready to roll. I'm working on getting the landing page set up, getting the payment piece set up so I can start pitching people on this great um, service that I have. It's, it's a really amazing thing. I mean, I've got 36 tracks of audio programs for students and professionals about their careers. Basically, how to make the transition in careers or how to make the transition from school to your career. And really, what it boils down to is there's five big, big mistakes that I made and all this stuff is my 20 some years in corporate America talking about all of that, how to avoid things. And let's face it, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fall flat on your face, but there's some really cool things about it that are gonna help you avoid some of these things um, and maybe make some better decisions and, and learn from me and learn from my mistakes. And um, I think it's gonna be really cool. So I'm very excited about that. Working on the final price points of it, so it's busy, a couple weeks. So that's, I think, going really well. Just struggling with the whole technology piece, but it'll come around because I don't give up and I keep pushing forward and you got to find the way. And I've been on a lot of webinars, a lot of sales webinars to sharpen my sales skills because obviously that's the next piece of this is you've got to now sell it. You've got to pitch it to people. So that's going to be the biggest thing for me. And for me, sales was always a struggle. I grew up in the credit card industry and I could not stand how credit card companies would say, sell this garbage to customers on the phone for $59.99 a month and you do these sort of crazy sales and basically if you're old enough to remember you get a $59.99 or $49 charge to Traveler's Advantage or Health and Wellness or something and it's on your credit card and I'm like what is this garbage so that really messed up my head with sales but I've really gone deep with a lot of sales trainers and, and really gotten my head straightened out with that because it's important you gotta sell your product. You gotta sell and you gotta do it well. So that's one of the biggest things I recognize. So that's, to me, I feel like another great success. Um, obviously, trying to get you know Joe Wu exposure here, that's, I think, one of the biggest things. And you know I've been pitching to a lot of local media outlets here in Philly. And you know I've been pitching probably four or five times a month about a story or an idea I came up with especially this time of year, you know, New Year's, you know, new career, all that stuff. So there's a lot of great opportunities to pitch. And so far, I think I'm like 0 for 20. And the key is most people give up at 0 for 1 or 0 for 2 and say, oh, you know what, I'm not cut out. You got to keep going because I'm telling you, I'm probably going to go 0 for 30, 0 for 40, maybe even 0 for 50. Does that scare me? No, it doesn't scare me anymore. I love failure because each time I learn, okay, what could I have done better in that pitch? What could I have actually done better to pitch the news media for a great story? And, you know, that's how you learn. And even with my audio program, even in the pitch of it, you know, I learned. And even in speaking engagements, a lot of what I was doing was talking about my story, which is very important. But I was really still making it about me. And the reality is, is yes, it is about you and your story, your business. But here's the thing. You've got to make it about your customer. You've got to make it about them. How is it benefiting from them? for them. How are you adding value in their lives? How are you really going above and beyond to show them the value you're going to deliver for them and to make them successful or to help them out as much as possible? So it's very important to think of that mentality. And I think for the longest time, I was always thinking about, okay, great. It's going to help me. It's going to help them. It's transactional. No, 
you've got to continue to be focused on your customers, people that you serve. And if you come at it from a service mentality, I think you'll be very successful. And the way I've gotten clients with the sales process and everything, it's been service mentality. How can I help solve a problem for them? That's where I get the sales. That's where I get a lot of the lifelong customers, fans, and referrals as well, too. That's the key. So I think that's been very eye-opening for me this week is to really see that, um, you know, flush itself out and see the process. Um, and another thing that's been interesting, too, is for me, it's been hard because right now, you know, Joe is not necessarily a full-time opportunity for me because I still have to keep the lights on. I still got to make money. So I've got to put food on the table for two kids and an amazing family. And here's the thing with that. You know, I've got to do mortgages right now. And that gives me the flexibility to do this, but i got to go out and still really do a full-time job. So right now it is, I think about almost 10 o'clock in the East Coast. I've been up since 4.30. And I'm just grinding it out and hustling. And yes, I'm tired. Yeah, I mean, look at me. You know, there's no makeup, no, well, I don't wear makeup anyway, but, you know, I'm in my little makeshift studio down here. But, you know, it's the way I am right now. I look tired. I look disheveled a little bit. Uh, I was actually sick early in the week. I don't know what happened to me, but uh, my son got sick and came home from school and was throwing up Friday and Saturday and all day Sunday was throwing up. And I was out on Monday and I just took it easy. So now I'm kind of back in the groove a little bit, which is great. So, but I'm still, still a little tired. Got the bags under the eyes here. Um, but you know what? I'm still moving forward. So it's been a great, great experience as far as some of these failures, you know, the technology failures, um, trying to understand how I can do better there. Uh, I'm even working on, on the video quality, improving the video quality. Um, one of the failures I've had is this new um, selfie stick. It's got a remote control. It doesn't work. It's shit. Go figure. You know, it's supposed to be one of the best brands out there and it absolutely sucks. This remote control doesn't work and it's connected to a Bluetooth. So all I have to do is push a button instead of going like this and looking unprofessional because that's what I want. I want to upgrade my videos. And this is actually um, something I treated myself to or to my business that I needed when I got a client. So strategically, you know, I bought this new selfie stick because I needed it. It's heavy duty and allows me to move it around here. As you can see in my makeshift studio, I got my little Christmas tree up and you can see there's the curtain and everything like that. So it's a great place. So what's up for me this week is, you know, it's the holiday season. So many people are winding down. So many people are going to be off next week. I'm going to be continue to work. I'm going to be up late at night. Got a couple career tip videos, creating some parents videos, which is great. So that's very, very exciting. Um, I think what's also interesting too about you know entrepreneurship is people come out of the woodwork. Um, this week it's been interesting. I've had so many people come out of the woodwork and say, what's going on, what are you doing? And I think a lot of that is I'm posting a lot more content. You know, on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, posting all this content and posting quotes and updates and videos and reposting. So I think people are starting to see that. So I'm starting to get more followers, more traction, which is great. But here's the danger, you know, you get people coming out of the woodwork because they want to know what's going on. And sometimes you might spend a lot of time with them and you lose a lot of time. And that's a thing. Now it's very important to hang with your friends, but I've seen people where, you know, they get a little success or they get moving and people want to sort of join that bandwagon. Nothing wrong with that, but the problem is, is then you start going out for drinks and you start losing your edge. And it's hard because you want to be there for them but I think one of the things I've learned, especially over the last couple of weeks to me that's been very successful is, is that I've had to really keep conversations to a minimum. And sure, you might lose some friends, you might alienate some people, but as long as you're you and you keep being you, that's okay. And that's what I'm doing. So, you know, in a lot of cases with friends, hey guys, you know, unfortunately I'm tied up right now with a lot of business stuff, but here's what I'm actually doing. You know, I'm really working on this and I have a half hour, so I'm actually scheduling my time. And I've told people about front luck, you know, I want to spend the maximum time with you, I want to help you, let's book the time. So I think, again, that's another win for me is scheduling time, is realizing that time is very important. And at this, especially this time at the end of the year, people are like, oh, I, got all, I don't have all this time, I got to take off, I got to, you know, uh, rest and relax. Sure, that's fine. But if you're complaining about the time, you've got the time, you just got to schedule. You can't just say, oh, let's go out for two hours and then you waste a lot of time. Schedule your time and be disciplined with it. That's the key. So here we are in probably about 10 minutes. I wanted to keep these videos to about 10 minutes. Again, very raw, you know, moving this around a little bit, shaky. I look tired, 10 o'clock at night. That's the way it is. And I want to show you the real, true piece of entrepreneurship here, how it is, how hard it is, but also how it's very, very rewarding. I mean, I feel 
more passionate than ever. I mean, so much success. Sure, I've had so many failures. Sure, I'm tired, I've been sick, but you know what? I'm still here, I'm still fighting. Because I believe what I'm doing is right for this world, and I believe that's my why, is why I'm here to help people through all my failures and all my experiences, to help people do better and give them great opportunities and great coaching, great products and services. And I think that's what it's all about. And I think so many people forget that. You know, they're just in it for the sale, the quick buck, and that's not what that's not what's gonna work, guys. That's how I was 10 years ago. That's how I was five years ago, even up to maybe two years ago. To really learn my lesson there. So, but I'm gonna let you all go. This is episode two. Gotta go fix this device now. So you'll see me shutting off here in a second, but love you all. Thanks so much for watching. And if you know somebody can benefit by this, somebody maybe in your family who's looking at entrepreneurship, let them see this. Share this video, it's important. I mean, this is free content, so let them see it. You know, have them come talk to me. I love to talk to people. I love to tell them how it's going, what's happening. And you guys are seeing all this unfold right in front of you. It's really gonna be cool. Especially in 2017, in a few weeks here, as things get going, what's really gonna be cool is to see the product launch, the failures, the successes, all those cool things. It's gonna be neat to talk about that to you guys. So I'm gonna do one before the holidays here in the next week. So I bid you all a good night. Live amazing, everybody. Take care, bye-bye.